This is a Dell Precision 390 with a nice white floppy drive. And it is exhibiting weird, weird problems. Um, sticking pieces of RAM in it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it won't boot and you'll get a RAM error and you'll take one out and it'll work. And then it'll crash and just crazy stuff going on. And then I tried to reinstall Windows on it and about halfway through all the time, it would just shut off. No warning. And here is the problem for that. Um, if you check your diagnostics in the BIOS, um, and even after you reboot, after this happens, it should pop up an error that says, uh, computer shutdown or whatever, due to thermal event, basically it overheated. Now if you're like me, and you have cleaned the heatsink, remove the heatsink, put new thermal paste on, nice thermal paste, put the heatsink back on, everything's perfect in the thermal department. Therefore, this thermal event problem is completely false. If you've done everything to clean your computer, you should look at these capacitors, and I will show you why. All right, this is just above the graphics card slot. Obviously, this is a reverse, or no, this is a BTX board, so that's the top of the computer. And you will notice these four tall capacitors in there, the only ones of that size on the entire board that I can see. And all four of them are popped and oozing and dried and crusty and just completely useless. And so I am willing to bet some serious money that that will at least get rid of this thermal shutdown fake error that it, th it thinks it has. You know, perfectly clean heatsink, brand new Arctic Silver on there. Uh, fake thermal shutdown thing, and possibly, possibly, it might also solve my RAM issues, um, allowing me to reliably put in more than one stick of RAM for longer than like 10 minutes. So, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a shot tomorrow and replace those. Hopefully that'll fix it all. New capacitors are in, and, oh, wrong computer. Works great. It's been running for a couple hours now. A plus.